Hey guys, what is up? Kristen here. I am back with you for another week of fun drawings. And if you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe and give us a big thumbs up if you like our videos. But let's go ahead and jump right into it. I'm going to use a Sharpie so it's easier for you guys to see. But why don't you guys grab a pencil and eraser and let's get going. The first thing we're going to do is we are going to draw on our unicorn horn and we're going to give it a little extra detail. Instead of just a triangle, we're going to make it look like it's twisting. Let me go ahead and zoom in just so you can see it a little bit better. The easiest way for me to describe what I'm doing is if you turn your head to the side, the shape I'm making sort of looks like a capital letter C. Do you see that? And as I'm getting taller, I'm making it smaller and smaller, so that it'll eventually look like a triangle. This time we're gonna close it up, because we're almost to the very top. And now let's just add the triangle on top. Uh, it got cut off a little bit there. Sorry about that, guys. And if you had trouble with this at all, remember, it's practice. Just practice it a few more times, and I guarantee you'll get it in the end. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and start adding on our unicorn ears. So we're gonna make a little line on either side of the horn, just a little squiggle or so, just so it looks like our ears are sitting right in our ice cream. And this shape is almost like a triangle, but we want the lines to bow out a little bit. Does that make sense? We want them to lean out to the side instead of going straight down. All right, just fill in the inside as well. No unicorn ice cream is complete without a cherry on top. So let's go ahead and add one on. Do you guys see how I did that? I just made a little hump to the left and then to the right. And there we go. A cherry. Okay, now we're going to add two little polka dots on either side. This is gonna help guide us as we add on our scoop of ice cream. So bring it up and around. Remember, we're overlapping, so don't trace on top of everything. Bring it over and then back down to our polka dot. Great job, guys. Now we're gonna add on the bottom edge of the ice cream. So it's gonna look a little jagged, you know, cause when they're scooping it, it always gives it that little extra fluff at the bottom. All right, I think let's go for our face now, and then we'll finish up with our cone. So I'm gonna give my unicorn ice cream cone some really cute eyes. They're gonna be closed with lots of eyelashes, but if you wanted to add on cutie eyes or anything like that, go for it. Remember, this is your unicorn ice cream cone. Doesn't it look so cute? All right, we're gonna finish up with a few more lines and then we're gonna go ahead and yeah, it's time for our ice cream cone. So we're gonna bring two little lines down and close them up. That's gonna be the very topmost part of our cone. And now we're gonna make an upside down triangle. Let's bring it down all the way to the end of the paper and then back up or rather bring it down to that line. Perfect. And now we need a little bit of texture. I'm gonna make mine a waffle cone. So I'm gonna give it its waffle cone effect. Did you know the waffle cone was invented by accident? In 1904, an ice cream vendor ran out of cones. He was at the World's Fair in St. Louis, Missouri, and he was facing high demand from guests, meaning there were a lot of people who wanted ice cream. So for his desperate solution, he ended up turning to a waffle vendor nearby, and they ended up curling them to sit the ice cream in. Interesting, right? All right, let's make sure to add on some sprinkles. We'll make those nice and colorful in just a little bit. And don't forget, if you are enjoying this video, give us a big thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. And if you love how your drawing turned out, Take a picture and send it to us or email it to us at splatterboxart at gmail.com. I'll be sure to leave it in the description below. 
We would love to give you a shout out in our next video. All right, we're almost there, guys. I want to decorate our background to make our unicorn seem even more special. So I'm gonna add cherries and little sprinkles all over the background just to make it look really neat. But anyway, guys, if you don't wanna add this step, you could always skip ahead to the coloring section. I'm gonna really quickly show you a fun way to color it in and shade it. I'll also have tons of fun facts about ice cream. So come hang out, color, and learn all about ice cream. I'm going to go ahead and color mine in rainbow order, meaning I'm going to color all the things that I want red first, then orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and pink. So let's go. Did you know there's an ice cream fruit in Hawaii? That's right. There's a Hawaiian fruit that tastes exactly like vanilla ice cream. It's called the Inga Fueli. Mm, I don't know if I said that correct, but locals call it the ice cream bean. Another interesting fact was, did you know that astronaut ice cream has never actually been to space? You've probably seen astronaut ice cream in a handful of gift shops and candy stores. It's essentially freeze-dried ice cream, but astronaut ice cream is actually not used on space missions. In fact, astronaut ice cream has never been to space at all. Some reports have said it did once on Apollo 7 mission in 1968. However, those reports have been dismissed by Walter Cunningham, the only living astronaut on that mission, who claims that there was never such a thing. I wish I had more time for fun facts, but it looks like we're all done. So I hope you guys had fun hanging out drawing this unicorn ice cream cone with me. I can't wait to see you next time. Bye.